I've spoken to a lot of people in this movement who are usually kind of uh, skeptical of government or feel like regulation is going to get in the way. And I'd love if you could kind of talk about uh, the public-private partnership or lack of partnership. How are you sort of seeing like it, yeah, DARPA is a very forward-leaning kind of an organization, and we we ask the question, what is possible and probable uh, in the future? And again, uh, you know, uh, meeting people that also think about the future is a critical part of us understanding what's ultimately out there, and uh, and, and then sharing you know, a variety of perspectives on it. So you know, that's the motivation um, you know, for, for coming here and, and being at a meeting like this. Is the government interested in transhumanism specifically? Is that a term of art? Can you do that? I mean, we, we don't use uh, you know words like that. We're in the science and technology side of it, right? So neurotechnology, you know, how, neuroscience, um, you know, uh, signal processing. I mean, we look at all of those fundamental aspects of that science and technology, and and try to understand how, how does it help you know propel us in, into the future. You know, so it's more about that. And again, as I said in the presentation. We think about you know the people that we serve, military personnel, and how neurotechnologies can help you know make them more whole again. Is there uh, are there known kind of things in this field for military technology kind of on the offensive end? So we could, you talked a lot about sort of restorative uh, technology. What, what sorts of things? Yeah. Are the so so we work on the the restorative side of things, and, and that's really where we see the opportunities for the science and technology. Um, so, so so we're not doing anything else uh, beyond that. No super soldiers. No no we, we, we don't do that kind of work. <laughs> Okay, all right.